it's summer today I'm gonna to be doing my third Q&A and this one's all doll themed so let's just jump right into it so the first question is from AG is fun 123 and her question is what do you recommend Emily or Ruthie I don't have Emily or Ruthie but I do have Lainey and she has the same hair as Ruthie and I really love her if you're planning on getting her from eBay or something try to get her new or with her hair in good condition because if not taken care of it can get pretty messy and most people when they are trying to decide if they should get Emily or not they're reluctant to get her because she has short hair and they don't think that they can do a lot with it but I have Kit and she has shorter hair than Emily and I still manage to do lots of cute hairstyles like braids and pigtails so don't think that if you get her you won't be able to do anything with your hair. And I put a link to the hair tutorial I did with Kit in the description box below so you can check it out and see what kind of hairstyles you can do on dolls with short hair. The next question is from AG Production 101, AG Studios 147, Cookie Full TV, Sparkle Studios, and Tiffany X Noel 5. And they all wanted to know if I was going to get any more dolls, if so which ones, and what is my next doll going to be, and how many dolls do I hope to have in total. I'm always going to want more dolls and I'll probably always be getting more dolls when I can. However, I'm not sure that I'd ever want something crazy like 40 dolls because I'd feel like none of them would get enough attention. However, I do want enough that when I film series and videos, I can have enough characters without having to always use the same doll to play multiple characters. And I'm hoping for my next doll to be number 35 and she's the one with the layered red hair and brown eyes and I've just always wanted her. AG Studios 147 asked, did you get any of the new things that AG came out with? And if not, are you? So far I haven't, but if I did, I think I'd get the flamingo dress, the shearling boots, and the fedora. AG Studios 147 also asked, if you could only keep one American Girl doll, which would it be? It would probably be Kanani because her hair is so much fun and I love using her in videos. The AG Doll Guy Studios, the Mackenzie 808, Tiffany X Noel 5, and AG Studios 147 asked, do you wish that you could buy any retired Girl of the Years or Historical Dolls? If so, which ones would you buy? Yes, I do! For retired Girl of the Years, I really want Mia. And for Historicals, I think I'd probably get Ivy. American Girl Lover 2.0 asked, Which crafts and shops do you recommend to use for American Girl Dolls from accessories to clothes? I can't recommend any Etsy shops or anything since I haven't purchased anything from Etsy yet. But my personal recommendation for a company is Maple Lea. For those of you who haven't heard of it, it's a Canadian 18 inch doll company with extremely good quality items and clothes and their prices are very reasonable. Any products or clothes from them that are on the more expensive side are because the materials to make them were expensive. For Canadians, there's a flat rate shipping fee of $9 which is great so you could order as much as you want and the shipping will only cost you $9. The link to their website is down below in the description box so please check them out. I also recommend checking out the R Generation items available from Target because they're pretty cheap and the food is always so cute. And also check Target, like the entire store for doll size stuff. This wooden shelving unit thing wasn't actually even in the doll section or anything. It was in like a home decoration section. You're supposed to like hang it up on your wall and you could put like mini, I don't know, you could put like letters in the little drawers and like pens and stuff or keys. But... It's pretty doll size, so I ended up getting it, and it was only, I think, $34. Cookie Full TV asked, What is your favorite American Girl product that you own besides your dolls? I'd have to say Julie's sound accessories would be my favorite. The tape recorder and the record player really work, and they're just so much fun. And I have a room tour where I demonstrate using them that I just made, and it's like all 70s themed for Julie. So I'll put that link to that video in the description box below as well. Cookie Full TV also asked, if you had to get rid of all of your dolls and start fresh, and you could only collect one doll brand now, which doll brand would it be? It would probably be Maple Leah because they don't increase their doll prices every year, and they're much more affordable than American Girl for me. Cookie Full TV asked, what is your opinion on Mary Grace? She's cute, but I was just never big on her because I've never really liked her face mold that much, so... But she's still a pretty doll, though. Tiffany Shaw wants to know, do I have Sage? Nope, I don't. <laughs> Another question from Cookie Full TV, and her question is, what is your opinion on the Girl of the Year 2013 Sage? Be honest. She's honestly so pretty, and I like how she has red hair since not a lot of the dolls do, and her eyes and freckles are unique as well. I haven't read any of her stories, but her movie was 
pretty bad. They just made her acting in the movie very poor and the storyline was pretty fake and unbelievable. I miss the AG storylines of girls who overcame huge obstacles in a big way. Like how Kit kept having to deal with living in the Great Depression and struggles thrown at her every day. Or even how Krista had to overcome harsh bullying. Lately, AG seems to be making the girl of the years have wimpy storylines. Like for Sage, I'm not saying that having a fear of riding a horse is unbelievable. It's just that how they made her act in the movie, she seemed very unrealistic and it was just very badly portrayed, I thought. I also didn't like the director's use of lighting, like in Isabelle's and McKenna's movies. I just, it just did not look good. It looked like they had no budget to afford proper lighting. <laughs> and our last question is from Jess France. Jess ATL Girl 166 and her question is what retired clothing and furniture do you like from American Girl? I practically like everything retired and it's a shame that everything got retired because I think almost all of the retired things, if not all of them, are things that I absolutely adore. Especially all of their historical things like Felicity's entire collection and you know the wooden table and chairs and all the little tea sets and her ball gowns and outfits and horses and oh I just love everything. And I also really like Kit's retired different accessories and outfits like her overalls and work boots. I really miss those and I really wish that I had gotten them when they were still available. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. <gasps> Cause I'm having videos out every week. What? <gasps> so you better hit that subscribe button in order to be notified every time I release a video. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So who's the poser now? <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh, guys.